Hey guys, enter the stars, and sometimes the ridiculous is often the truth. I'm going to propose this information to you, and I'll let you decide what you think that the outcome is. I am going to turn off ratings on this video, but feel free to comment. As I say, oftentimes the truth is sometimes the ridiculous. The fallen angels began to sin against birds and beasts and reptiles and fish and devour one another's flesh and drink the blood. Then the earth laid accusation against the lawless ones. They began to sin against birds. Now I want you to look at this picture of a turkey. And I want you to visualize the round body of the turkey and the rear feathers that appear like a ring like the rings of Saturn. I also want you to look at the colors at the North Pole of Saturn, the blues, the reds, and I want you to compare that to the colors on the face of a turkey. Now, before you turn this video off, if you're not convinced at this point, you're probably wondering why, we're, why Turkey is at war with Russia. And you're probably wondering do the two names actually relate to one another? The turkey, the bird, and also turkey, the country. And in fact, they do. The guinea fowl is the name of the turkey. The bird bears some resemblance to the then recently found American bird. Though it is a native to eastern Africa, the guinea fowl was imported to Europe through the Ottoman Empire, which, was, which is now known as turkey. And as, through, as it was imported through the Ottoman Empire, it came to be called the turkey cock or the turkey hen. When settlers in the New World began to send similar-looking fowl back to Europe, they were mistakenly called turkeys. So, the turkey is named after the guinea fowl that was imported through the Ottoman Empire, which is turkey. The turkey is named after turkey. Do you think it's an accident? that Turkey shot down the plane, and then we're talking about this at this point. Here's where it gets creepy. Google, today, was talking about the cornucopia. Here's the cornucopia. This was featured, filled with weapons, in the first Hunger Games film. And now we have the latest installment of the Hunger Games film releasing right close to Thanksgiving. What is the cornucopia? A horn of plenty, abundance of nourishment. That is their light side version of it, but it actually goes much deeper. The cornucopia was actually a horn broken off from one of the gods. Which gods do you know that have horns? And it says here, one of the best known involves the birth and the nurturance of the infant Zeus, who had to be hidden from his devouring father, Cronus. Cronus is Cronos is Saturn. Cronos is Cronos is Saturn. And this Wikipedia article goes on to talk about the horns of these gods actually broken off and being filled with nourishment to feed other gods. Hercules is mentioned here. The cornucopia was created when Hercules wrestled with the river god Archelaus and wrenched off one of his horns. River gods were sometimes depicted as horned. This is the truth about Thanksgiving. These are the roots. They even mention Pluto here. The classical ruler of the underworld and the mysterious religions was a giver of agricultural, mineral, and spiritual wealth, and in art often holds a cornucopia to distinguish him from the gloomier Hades, who holds a drinking horn instead. This is the truth about the roots of Thanksgiving in the cornucopia, and that's why Google, the evil empire of Google, is showing you this cornucopia. But as I said, in the Hunger Games, it is filled with weapons. So now, it is not too much outside the realm of the possibilities that this 
is in fact related to this. Take care and be safe, you guys.